Hey guys, welcome to Transmit the 1075 in case you missed it. Um, this is going to be my second video about deck guns. Uh, please go back in my series of videos. I'll tag it at the end. I'll put it in the comments of the deck gun, the most underutilized tool in the fire service. Um, gets a lot of, of hits. One of my uh, best videos as far as uh, hits. And so check it out. Uh, but this is in addition to that. So it's the most underutilized. But today at this fire here in in Calden, I guess how that's how you say that. I think this is in Canada. Uh, we're going to use the deck gun, and I want to review a few things, bitch a little bit, uh, rant a little bit, and give you my perspective. All right, I'm going to pause this right here just to give you a little view here. Check this out. It's a little closer than I would prefer, but there is the fire hydrant. So again, the deck gun doesn't always require having access to a quick fire hydrant, but in this particular case, they're going to use it. And lo and behold, it's right in front of the fire building. They're going to have to encounter a little bit of smoke, a little bit of heat, but you know, that's what our, that's what we get paid for. All right, I think this gentleman here is either, I suspect he's an off-duty, or maybe they're volunteer or combination, I'm not quite sure, but he, he gets himself rather involved, so I'm assuming he's off-duty. All right, I'm going to pause it again. So, I don't know why we, we've, we're just watching this video and then it clicked over and now some time has passed. I suspect I could be wrong, but I think this may be a courtesy pause, meaning maybe bedlam is happening so much that we've decided to be polite and not show what has transpired in the in the um, in between. I don't know that to be the case, but it seems a little strange. Nevertheless, I see here what appears to be, I guess, a two and a half, maybe inch and three quarter hand line that's been stretched already, and as though it's sitting out here, or at least a portion of it, and then the supply line is laying out here. Um, there's a firefighter here. He's actually messing around with this, with this green line and we'll let things progress. All right. So look, the deck gun is just about to be opened, is just being opened up here. And look, sometimes it can be in a fog pattern, but this is one of the first things I want to say, which I'm sure among some people in the country will bitch and complain and think I'm crazy, but there should be no fog nozzle on a deck gun. Okay, the purpose of a deck gun is for maximum water, maximum penetration. I want to blast through these windows. I want to blast through walls. I want it to stick. I want this line to come out the other side of the building. I want to get as much um, penetration as I possibly can. I have an exposure here, exposure on this side. I want to beat the living shit out of this building, blow out the windows and knock this fire down as fast as possible. So that's my first problem. My next problem, again, I give them credit for doing this, for, for recognizing that this is a great potential here to use it. But here's one other great thing, and this is just, just about the fire service, not these guys per se, but here's the chauffeur. You'll notice now, now there's nobody up here, the line, the, the deck gun is starting to operate. And why is this? Well, that's because in the day and age that we now live in, um, everything is a gimmick. Every, we need, everyone needs a toy. And so now we have remote control deck guns. Instead of sending a guy up there to do his job and knock this thing down in, in 30 seconds, now we're playing games with remote controls that need batteries, that need charging, that don't fail, that don't make a connection, no one knows how to use or no one remembers. So in my opinion, the initial issue here uh, that he has this in fog and he can't see from this perspective is because he's using this idiotic remote control when we should just have a guy up there operating it where he can see and has a better perspective. But no, it's 2022 and everyone needs a toy. So this guy's starting to stretch the supply line. I think it's too hot or wet over there. On the same, at the same moment, you're gonna notice here, let me back up for a second. The chauffeur winds up, he's utilizing this remote control and then says, Jesus Christ, I can't do my job. And he hands it off to this firefighter. So now this firefighter goes out to in front of the rig where he can see a little bit better 
and start to operate the deck gun. But again, this is doing nothing, guys. First of all, it's not even hitting the building. And when it does, it's ineffective. It seems like they're having some pump problems by the sound of the pump that I'm hearing. Uh, regardless, I would still suggest that when you start putting water through a fog nozzle, fog nozzle versus a straight bore, that it's going to limit the gallons per minute. And in my view, this is the last thing I want to do. I want, as I mentioned before, strong penetration through the windows, doors, walls to knock the shit out of this thing. So, ineffective for the most part here. This line is not operating properly. And the way, even the way I'm seeing this flow now, right, my instinct here watching this is this is going over the building. I've seen this, again, this isn't operating properly, but when I see that line go up like this and over, my instinct immediately from this perspective is not working. So now there is no humanly way we've run out of water this quickly. Uh, there's, I think there's some other issue going on and I don't want to harp on these guys too much, but I just want to talk about the technical use of this thing as opposed to what other problems we're having. So here again, I think this off duty guy, <laughs> I don't think it's a civilian, whoever goes up there to do God knows what. The line's back in service, the deck gun's back in service. Again, majorly ineffective. This line should be flowing 750 gallons per minute, 1,000 gallons. I mean, that's probably pushing it, but this thing should have easily knocked this down in a short period of time. All right, that's one video, guys. There's another one here that I want to show you, and we'll continue. All right, guys, this is video number two of the same fire. By the way, this is the 4-3 guy. Check his videos out. This guy's no joke. This is a serious fire buff. This guy flies his drone... Uh, rather than get in his car, I guess he uh, actually he did dro drive somewhat uh, a long way here, but he pulled over and decided to fly his way to the fire scene. Some of the best drone footage of a, of a fire I've seen in a long time. So here it is. So by the looks of things. Um, the fire is definitely, this is a little delay from when the first video uh, came about. But again, from the ground, and, and again, I'm not here to bash these guys, but in the 32 years that I've been in the fire service, I have seen this happen time after time after time. I don't know whether people don't understand geometry, don't understand physics, don't have a perspective in their brain when they see water go up over that it's not it's not stopping it's going to it's going to water the neighbor's garden and sure enough here you're going to see this if you if you watch this whole video this 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 happens for 3 quarters of the video it's just watering the backyards completely ineffective and okay i understand once in a while you want to hit something in the in the uh, soffit here or get into the attic space or something. That's not doing it. I mean, we're watering this guy's deck. So guys, when you're operating the deck gun, I would advocate, put it through a window, put it through a soffit, put it through a vent. And I would also have better pressure than this. And as I stated before, forget the, no the fog nozzles, the straight bore nozzle. I give an A plus for drone footage. This is amazing. And even, um, I'm gonna fast forward here. There's a point where I just wanna show with this tower ladder. Um, I mean, you look here, look, again, I'm not a big fan of the fog. At least they have both, they have the option. I will say once in a blue moon, a water curtain is probably something you need somewhere. I would say off a deck gun is not uh, as likely uh, to be needed here as on a tower ladder. Uh, they have both, but if you only have one option, I would always stick with the uh, straight bore nozzle, the stack tips. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for this one here. Um, but please check out again my first, the deck gun, uh, the most underutilized tool in the fire service. I do like it. 
I think these guys had the potential to really show how effectively it could be used. Unfortunately, um, they dropped the ball, but nevertheless. All right, thanks for watching.